All right, we are live for day 24. Man, it blows my mind how fast this is going by. We have 24. We are going for 30 days straight of Facebook Lives. Today is day 24. I am talking to you guys about A1Cs, which is the average blood glucose over the last three months. And it's what we as diabetics go in for when we get our blood labs taken, uh, along with some other blood tests that are good to have, you know, kidney function, that sort of thing. But the A1C is across the board the most well-known test and well-taken test from diabetics when you go to see your endocrinologist or your primary care doctors. So, as I said, the A1C test is the three-month average of your blood sugars. And uh, there's lots of science behind it with the hemoglobin and figuring out why it works and, and how they take that average. But today I want to talk to you more about why it's not necessarily the best test. And the best description of your control as a diabetic. So let's jump right in. Um, I'm going to give you some metaphors to make it easier to understand. And I'm going to use the example of a used car sale. Now, it's not exactly something that everyone looks forward to. And I think it's similar to not looking forward to getting blood drawn because it's not always a fun thing, right? So with the used car sale, if you're going in to buy a car, is the only thing that you ask about going to be the mileage. You say, okay, the mileage is at uh, 33,000. It's at 33,000 miles. That sounds like a pretty good car to me. You know, that's pretty low mileage. It's not going to be towards the end of its life. And most likely, this is a car that's going to give a lot of life back to you. It's going to last you a long time. And it likely doesn't have very much damage to the interior, exterior. It hasn't been through a lot yet. So it's going to serve you well, probably. But is that the only question you're going to ask? Are you going to say yes to the car sale as soon as you hear 33,000 miles? No, don't be silly. You're going to ask about, are there bumps and scratches on the outside? What was the previous owner like? Um, what is the car's maintenance history? Has it been in any accidents? Is the car in alignment? You're going to ask tons of questions because this is a big purchase you want to make. And mileage, while it's a good indicator of how old the car is and what it's been through, it is not going to be the final question and the one and only question that you ask. Now, A1C, it is an average of your blood sugars. It's a good indicator of your control and, and where you lie on, is it averaging high, averaging low, averaging healthy? But is it going to give you the exacts? No, it's not. So unfortunately with A1C, you may see an excellent average. You may be between 5.0 and 6.0, which is absurdly well controlled and awesome. But the reason that uh, endocrinologists tend to get a bit nervous after you drop below a 6.0 is because they realize with an average, that means if you're gonna experience some highs, which let's be honest, it typically happens after you eat. You usually spike a little bit and then maybe come back down. So with those highs, in order for an average to be lower, that means you're probably experiencing a lot of low blood sugars as well. And the more low blood sugars you have, the more in danger you are of damaging your brain or going into a coma, crashing your car, all these really sad things that we do not want to happen. And so when an endocrinologist sees a lower A1C, even though technically it's a great number and it looks awesome to have an average of perfect, they're wondering how many low blood sugars have you really had. And so while your A1C gives that, that small snippet of averaging over the last three months, it's not going to give them the answers of, how high have you been? How low have you been? You may have a perfect A1C, but every day might look like this on your CGM graph, which is why having a CGM is an excellent tool to figuring out how well controlled you actually are because it tells you what's called time in range. It's gonna tell you uh, if you are in range 70% of the day, 80% of the day, 95% of the day, I've been doing really well and I'm super happy about that. So I had to throw in a little bit of a brag. But that's not always how it is. I'm not perfect, no one's perfect. And uh, with the CGMs, you are able to see how long you're in range versus a one-time glance at the average over the last three months. I just realized I'm still wearing my FTF Warrior shirt. I was doing some filming today for the upcoming challenge that I mentioned yesterday and some new footage for the membership area for our program. So I'm really excited about that. I'll be giving you guys more news. It's still kind of a keeping it on the down low secret thing for now, but I will be inviting you guys, everyone in this group, to take a look into our free challenge. So you guys have priority access to that. I will give you guys a link first, but it's still a secret. So 
Um, back to the A1C. The A1C, as I said, is an average of the three months. It's excellent tool to have, especially for your doctors to see. But like I said, unfortunately, since it is an average, that could still mean that every day you're hitting 300 and then going down to 50 and then going to 250 and then going down to 45. You don't want to be dealing with that roller coaster. So you might have a good A1C, you might have bad control. You might have a good A1C, you might have good control. The problem is there's no way to tell for sure without the CGM or without pricking your fingers 20 times a day to see where your sugar lies during the day and during the night. So again, A1C is an excellent tool to find the average, but it does not necessarily mean that you have good control. In order to see if you have good control, you're gonna to wanna to get a CGM, a constant glucose monitor, Look at your graph and see how long you can keep that time in range to avoid those extreme highs and extreme lows. So that is today's live on the A1C. I hope you guys found this useful. Let me know in the comments if you have other topics you want me to cover because I only have a couple days left in this Facebook Live challenge and I want to hit you guys' questions and uh, help you guys out as much as possible before that challenge begins. Hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend and keep up the fight.